an Air Gold air purifier by a company, well, a supplier, brand name Lentech, which I got off eBay. And um, it works okay. It's got two settings, a slightly wobbly switch. It's got off, low, and high. Sometimes it's a wee bit intermittent in the high. It just doesn't seem quite right. But um, having said that, it does quite a modest job at low. And this device puts out ozone and has the pluggable cleaning plates. It actually came with a spare uh, set of the cleaning plates, I'm guessing. It's just so you can swap one set while you're cleaning the others or something. I'm not really sure. But basically speaking, you pop the, you clean these because uh, they gather dust. You pop it in. Oh. And it clicks into position. You plug it in and it creates a draft out the front. Not with a fan though. It, it uses the um, ionic propulsion might be a good way to describe it. So um, let's uh, open this up. I'm secretly hoping it's the type with the... I'll pull that out in case it fills it. it. I'm hoping it's the type with the piezoelectric step-up generator. I think some of them use that, uh, where a multiple-layer piezoelectric block is driven from the low-voltage side, well, the main side, and uh, because it's got a huge pile of stacks, it then steps the voltage up. But um, I'm sure I've seen one on Photonic Induction's video that he blew one up, and I'm sure it had the pizza electric device inside. So I'm secretly hoping, as I say... Ooh! It also acts as a nightlight. It's got these uh, LEDs here that light this, this diffused panel. Okay, it's not using the Corona wire. And it's also got a wee needle. Oh, that must be the ionizer bit. Oh, that's interesting. So, what's it stepping the voltage up with? Oh, it's a step-up transformer. Now, I wonder if it's dis discrete components or if it's actually got a switch mode driver chip. It's potted in hard white resin. <coughs> so that's not going to be very penetrable. But I see it, it's not the pizza electric. It's got, um, I guess that might be a drive transistor and then the step-up transformer, and then a voltage multiplier to get the higher voltages. Okay, high voltage, low current. There's the switch. Oh, blimey, look how it bends. That's why it's not reliably going over. It's maybe just a wee bit too long and spindly. Okay, I wonder what that does. I wonder if it just puts uh, another resistor in line with the part of the control circuitry. So, how it generates the airflow, <coughs> when you slide these plates in, I could have left that on apparently, it makes electrical connection with one side of the um, high voltage supply, and the other side of the high voltage supply, positioned just behind it, uh, has a series of sharp points. This is just a metal strip um, with that's been punched out, it's got a rib for strength, and then it's got these sharp points in it. And when you put a high voltage between the points and the grounded plate, the other side of their, their, their high voltage um, reference, you will tend to get a corona discharge in the tips of the points, which creates the ozone. And also, um, because the flow of um, charged air goes towards those plates, it creates quite a strong airflow. And... Some of these units, they, that's all they have, and they say it's also an ionizer, but it's not really an ionizer because any, say, negatively charged um, air molecules from here will automatically get charged to what they see as the positive plates, and nothing would go out the front. But it's interesting that they've actually got this little, um, little rubber bung with a needle in it, which is generating the ion separately. And it's out with that field. It's got the insulating plate. I wonder if it's just connected to that. or I don't think it is, though. So that's um, what's in it. It's interesting enough. I wonder how close those plates go. Um, they go pretty close. Well, that's going to be quite hard to smush all the wiring into. Yeah, so those plates will be in the region of about there. But it's still a modest distance away. Oh, another thing, uh, because the, any dust that gets in uh, gets charged up initially negatively on these um, and then passes through these, it actually creates a, 
um, it, it, the dust is attracted to these metal plates. So after a while, these uh, will get covered in dust, and that's why this is removable. And then you can sort of wipe the dust off and put it back in. And uh, I see that uh, another thing I didn't realise is the air comes in at the sides. There's no vent in the back. The air comes in at the sides, comes down these ports here, um, and then gets blown out the front, which kind of then that ionizer needle. It's not really going to have an airflow in that direction. And any charge on this uh, is likely to get. I wonder if it does create ions. I might give that a wee test later on. But anyway, that's it. It's interesting enough and it works okay. It creates that sort of fresh ozone smell in the front of it and quite a modest airflow out the front.